Yo, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put, or one way, or at least give you ideas on how to put that extra spinning shaft on your 1x30 to work in your shop. But first, two weeks ago, I held a giveaway on my YouTube channel for a WorkSharp field sharpener. And in the video, I said, I'm not sending it internationally. And uh, one of the viewers uh, said, I'll pay the shipping and entered the contest and he won. Uh, but so I started going through it and it was going to be like 40 bucks to ship it from here or I have to like go to the post office and get an international box and even then it's 30 bucks and like and then I'm waiting I'm like I'm sorry man I'm not doing it. Um, so he said no worries dude like let's give it away. So uh, the first per here this is his idea part of it's his idea the first his idea was the first person to comment in the video with something other than garbage is the winner. And I said, no man, the first person that comments in the video and thanks you for this tool can be the one that gets it. So the, the to get that, you need to be the first person to go into the comments of this video and say, thank you, Alexi. And the attention to detail here. So it's thank you, comma, O-L-E-K-S-I-I, exclamation point, submit. And you can win that WorkSharp Field Sharpener. All right, and now on to the show. What I wanted to show you is the other wheel I have on my 1x30. And if you have a 1x30 like this, a lot of times, uh, if it has another shaft on it, it's gonna have a flat disc on it. And I never found much application for that. You can put a bunch of sandpaper on it, but it's spinning something fast and like it didn't, I never used it. And I don't like having a spinning shaft in my shop that I'm not using, so I thought about ways to put it to use. And here are some ideas for you. All right, here's what's going on here. On this shaft, I took that wheel off, and it, it's, this is a Grizzly, if you're wondering. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't awesome. Like, it's not a super clean shaft, is what I'm saying. Uh, but then I bought an adapter and I mounted it on the shaft and then I got a felt wheel. So you gotta match all the diameters and stuff. So you take that off, put some calipers on it. I think it was a half inch, but it might be metric, but a half inch worked for me. And then you can get an adapter. I'll include links to um, where I sourced this one. But again, just take the measurements and see for yourself. Uh, and then this is a uh, you know standard nut here and it, it's, it sandwiches a wheel. So you can put any any size wheel, like up to, I don't know, over an inch on there. Um, and uh, this is, let me check, I think it's, all right, yeah, so this is a six inch wheel with a half inch hole. Uh, I have a medium hardness felt wheel on here, uh, but there is no limit of things you can explore, especially with felt, uh, but uh, with other items as too, whether it's a buffing wheel or a stone or I don't know, let, um, yeah, leather, paper, MDF. I don't know, man, you can go to town on this. The point is like you got this spinning shaft in your shop, like do something with it, you know? Um, and I'll just, just to finish what I've done is this is a medium felt. You can see there's something on there. What is on there is real mower lap, lapping compound. So it's like a, it's, uh, it's sold at 120 grit, but it, it breaks down when it gets used and it flies off too. So you gotta be careful, but uh, I use this uh, and I have found that using the corners works well for me. Uh, I will take a pair of pruners, uh, like the, the cutter from a pruner. I'll take it right from here. I'll put it, I'll, I'll refine the bevel here. And then I'll do one more. I'll do, I have another felt wheel that I use. but So I, I've taken pruners and loppers to a really quick process uh, by, by having this on here. And I haven't even, like, there's so much more you could do. So anyway, I invite you to consider uh, putting this shaft to use on your 1x30 in your shop. Okay, there you have it. Notes and links are in the description of this video for all the stuff I'm using here. If you run with this, let me know what you do with it, because like I said, there's no shortage of options. And be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you next week for the next Hot Tip Tuesday.